I've got some exciting news to share with you, okay? But before I share the news, I'd like to introduce myself and welcome all the brand new subscribers to my YouTube channel. If this is your very first live stream in attendance, please let us know so that my veteran live streamers and my loyal clients, loyal subscribers can welcome you into the kingdom properly, okay? My name is Denzel Rodriguez, your personal finance geek of the 21st century, and today we're gonna be discussing velocity banking and infinite banking combined. On this YouTube channel, I primarily cover and teach the velocity banking concept, the infinite banking concept, and kingdom authority, helping moms achieve financial freedom by becoming debt-free or debt-leveraged, either or, creating a 10x strategy to live the lifestyle they desire, to be a mom and a woman at the same time and not feel guilty about being a mom, to be able to have a business, have a life, have kids, have the spouse, have the house, and maintain it all with full confidence and authority. Do you know what I mean? Okay, That is my mission here on planet Earth, so for the time being, we're going to have fun executing that purpose here on planet Earth with your help, being in attendance, being a loyal uh, subscriber, a giver, a client, a, a kingdom-oriented individual, uh, giving beyond measure, being able to be blessed, live in abundance, learn some new things, and operate in your original intent, your, your original purpose in life. So. Let's dive right into it. We got 42 people in the house and climbing. I want to welcome everybody again. The first piece of news that I'd like to share with you is your one and only Finance Geek has officially been trademarked. Okay. So I have a previous video. Okay. And let's see if you can see that. Yeah. Zoom in. Okay, so this right here is my logo, Denzel Rodriguez, the finance geek. I got the logo trademarked, okay? Prior to that, I have a video in my, I have a playlist called Channel Progression, and there's a video where I uh, trademark the words, the finance geek. So that's like my brand, so I trademark that. My logo is... My name, little simple box, Finance Geek, and, 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 also got my face trademarked, okay? So you can see that, all right? I got my face trademarked. Let's see if you can see it better this way. Oh, yeah, that's much better. So I got my face trademarked. Y'all see that? Most people are familiar with it by now. If you've bought a product from me, you've seen that logo. So this is a huge, huge achievement. Now I can put a nice little R next to my logos on my, on my website, uh, everywhere. Um, my videos, everything. So we've solidified this kingdom in terms of legally trademarking myself, owning the name, owning the domain. Uh, you know, nobody can use it. Nobody can use my face to profit, right? Uh, and so I want to get your feedback. When you see that logo, my face, tell me a few things, one or two things that comes to mind when you see my brand, when you, when you land on my YouTube channel. Um, if you're a client of mine, what do, you, what do you see? If you're a brand new person, brand new subscriber, or you're a longtime client, what do you see from the first time seeing me up until this point? Drop some comments. Let me know how you feel. What has been some of the, the biggest takeaways that you've, you've gotten being, a, being in my kingdom and seeing all the progression, the results? Please comment. Let me see. I want to I wanna, uh, get some feedback here. I want to learn, see where I can improve and how I can continuously you know, get better at, at what I do. Okay, so above quality information and passion, appreciate that. Trustworthy, congratulations. Savior of financial debts, love it. 
Honesty, I feel safe. Financial freedom, Joel says hello. Okay, great. Awesome. I, I appreciate that feedback. This, this helps me improve. Remember, I'm 25 years old. I got a lot to learn, but I got even more to give. So I'm, I'm here to really be a steward, uh, a, a student as well. Tony says, congratulations on well-earned trademark. Face matches well with Finance Geek. It is who you are. Allison says, kingdom, pride in what you do. You don't hide behind anything. You put yourself out there. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So now, let's dive into tonight's lesson. We're going to go, I'm going to try to go fast. It, it's not of my character, typically. I'm going to try and be effective. Okay, that's the goal. I want to be effective. I want to stay on task. I'm going to share with you a real-life case study client of mine. I'm going to take you through the velocity banking, and then we're going to introduce infinite banking. I'm basically just going to share with you their journey from first connecting with me, finding my YouTube channel, becoming a client, and then 2021, as of today, what they're working on. All right, so let's dive into it. Let's have some fun. Let's share uh, the details. So we have a client here on the board. We got a husband and wife. I typically work with the, the wife is usually the the, the leader in, in the conversations. Um, I believe it's the wife that originally found me. But what's nice is husband and wife are always together on every one of the phone calls that I've had with them from from very first time of signing up. So some things that I wanna share that are some fun facts about this particular client. Is there a Patreon giver? So they've sowed, they have sowed seed into my kingdom multiple times. They became a lifetime client, so not only did they give money to my kingdom to help me grow this YouTube channel from an early stage, but they also became a client, they enrolled. They are also a policy holder, so they bought a high cash value life insurance policy designed for the infinite banking concept. And we are approaching a three-year relationship. They originally found me back in late 2018, and then they became a client in 2019 because in 2019 that's when I actually released my first coaching consulting service. They came to me with uh, you know a lot of money in debt and what I wanted to do on my notes here real quick so I don't forget I wanted to like look at us at one of their first spreadsheets they've ever sent me. I wanted to make sure I at least show you that because this, this, this couple, the amount of debt they wiped out in such a short period of time was insane. So they came to me with um, student loan debt, credit card debt, uh, car debt, mortgage debt when we first started talking. And as of today, 2021, they've been able to, using the Velocity Banking concept, they've wiped out all of their debts except for the primary mortgage. That's the only thing they have left. So this, this debt right here, 210,000 at 3.25%, that's their mortgage. That's the only debt that they have as of today. Okay, so those are some fun facts. Diving into the numbers, they currently make, as of 2021, 8,000 a month. Their expenses are 6,000. Like I said, debt, 210,000, just a mortgage. Their cash flow is $2,000. They have a home equity line of credit in the second position for $25,000 is the credit limit at a 5.5% interest rate. They have $12,000 cash on hand. They have a mass mutual policy, which got established in 2019. So they've already funded it twice so far. They've already dumped money in twice and their anniversary date is coming up on uh, March 27th. So they're about to max fund their policy for a third time. So they went with um, Mass Mutual. We did it under wife. Wife was younger and healthier. Unfortunately, we, we tried on husband. Husband got denied off health, but luckily he already had 
a, uh, a whole life, a, a cash value life insurance policy in place. So we made sure not to kill that policy. We, we kept it in force and it has some cash value built up. It wasn't designed for infinite banking, so it doesn't have nearly as much cash value as wife's, but that is okay. So we're using wife to practice the infinite banking concept. Like I said, it was based off age, health, and finances, and those three matched up uh, better in her favor, which was um, good. The funding amount, the projected funding amount that we started with uh, was 16500 a year. The base premium is $1,911.50, total death benefit 425000 and the MEC limit, which stands for Modified Endowment Contract, is at $20,001.96. So, as you can see, this is not quite a 90-10 split design policy, more like a 87-13 or 88-12 uh, split, where when we were speaking and originally mapping this out, they had 16,500 of, of capital to, to start the policy with while they were doing velocity banking, wiping out debt. So they were combining the two together at first, it was just Velocity Banking, and then we implemented Infinite Banking later into uh, 2019 and, you know, kind of kept the ball running since. So when they started with 16.5, they wanted a little bit of extra space. They wanted the ability to put in a little more than the 16.5. So the base premium is 19 $111.50. So that means that we're able to put in, you know, 19000 and some change uh, each and every year for a period of time, not forever, but for a period of time. Okay. So overinflate the MEC, 20000 to allow the individual to make changes to the policy. And one of the things that we did was uh, we, we had backdated the policy, I believe. So it got funded later in 2019, but then in 2020, the anniversary date was earlier. It wasn't a full 12 months. So that's what that means. When you backdate a policy, you're, you're essentially, your anniversary date's gonna be your birthday. So if your birthday is in March, but you start a policy in say September, your anniversary date is not going to be September the following year. It's gonna be March of 2020 or 2021, 2022, like in that case. So we did some backdating and, you know, the first year was 16.5. The second year she dumped like 10 and then like added more money later on. So Mass Mutual was a little bit flexible in that ability to add funds. Uh, Guardian is, is a little more flexible in terms of adding money at leisure whenever you want. We kind of had to uh, fill out some paperwork and make some changes in order to allow us to uh, you know, add funds when we wanted to. But now they're at a point where for 2021, they're actually going to, I believe, they're gonna fund 20,000 this year using Velocity Banking and Infinite Banking combined together. So we'll see how that goes. And so to kind of break that down, the $16,500 number literally came from the 66% rule of how we uh, borrow from our debt tool. So when we're doing velocity banking with the HELOC, 25K times that by 66% is 16.5. So this is how they were chunking. Like literally from when we first started working together, when we had a previous debt tool and then upgrading, they've always been using the 66% rule, pretty conservative, never really went above it. They've went from paying off debt to running expenses to paying off debt and funding a policy and all this stuff. So they used a chunk to initially start the policy, then they borrowed out of the policy to pay off debt. So as of 2021, they do have 
loans in the policy. They're getting ready to dump anywhere between as low as sixteen five or as high as twenty thousand. The reason why I say twenty thousand is they have this twelve thousand dollars cash on hand, and at the moment, as of today, we're in March twenty twenty one, they are at a zero balance on their HELOC. So if I have twelve thousand dollars cash on hand to get to twenty k, I only need an additional eight. So they might leverage about 8K chunk from the HELOC to get to that 20. I think they might do 18, 19. We didn't really solidify a number, but uh, I think they're going to close in on 20. We'll see. So if they do 20, they'll be borrowing 8. If they do, you know, 19, it'll be 7. You know what I mean? So they're, they're using their cash on hand capital sending it to their cash value life insurance policy so that that money can grow at a tax-free compounded rate unaffected by the marketplace and then they're going to pull money from that to continue to either pay off debt or they want to now 10x okay so this is about a typical, ideal financial situation when I'm working with my clients is it kind of starts off like this. They land on my YouTube channel coming from this kind of mindset. Debt snowball, Dave Ramsey, frugal, minimalize, don't use debt, avoid debt like the plague. They come to realize, oh, you know what? This is taking too long. It's not as effective. I'm not happy. In the process you know there's just it there's got to be a better way so when that hit they they landed on my channel one of the first things they saw was velocity banking so took them from debt snowball to velocity banking right they're paying off debt they're going faster than debt snowball this is building momentum they're building their personal credit score up they're wiping out debts, they're releasing stress, things are going well, okay, great. They're now expanding their mindset, they're becoming open-minded to the infinite banking concept. So now they, they spend time, they research, they watch videos, they look at the good, the bad, the ugly, they put it all together, they say, Denzel, I'm ready to go. So now they've got Velocity Banking going, then they start the policy, when we combine velocity banking, essentially what's happening is instead of making your chunks directly at debt, when you hit a point where you have enough cash flow coming in, good income, you've wiped out plenty of uh, bad debts, consumer debts, and you're just down to like maybe student loans and a, and a mortgage in some cases, and you've got extra capital, you're willing to pull from different assets, you can then create a strategy where you chunk at a policy where you max fund it with one lump sum payment. And the ideal uh, uh, strategy is to chunk a decent amount of money to cover our cost of insurance, the, the early cost of, of fees in, in these policies because they can be quite expensive in the first few years. It takes time for the policy to really take off and, and do what it's designed to do. So we want to be able to have enough capital to really, you know, cause some damage or else it's better to stay with, say, debt snowball velocity banking and keep creating momentum with that. You don't want to slow yourself down trying to force infinite banking to work in your favor. Understand? So they understood that. They educate themselves. They watch tons of videos. They, like I said, the good, the bad, the ugly, put it all together. It's got a policy in place. They got one. They're funding a policy. They're getting more results. They're, they're, they now have an asset that will perpetuate or help perpetuate their kingdom and legacy. They've got three children, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and they're establishing their kingdom values, morals, ethics before they leave planet Earth. So they've got this great asset that's going to protect them 
They've got a great concept, Velocity Banking. They've got all their prior knowledge of finance. They've mixed it all together. And then they're like, hmm. Then they, then they see one of my 10X videos where I promote expansion and scale and you know, multiplying income, creating value in the marketplace and getting paid significantly more for your time for the same amount of work involved. Working smarter, not harder. You know, transitioning from working for someone to working for yourself. So now I'm planting those seeds, right? So now they're at this point. This is like the final stage, in my opinion, of how I work with my clients. I meet you where you're at. I introduce a pretty cool concept, velocity banking. It can improve your personal credit. It can show you how to leverage debt. It can show you how to use debt, not have fear over debt. Okay, how to borrow from Peter to pay Paul and pay nothing in interest, offset your cost of borrowing, accelerate your debt. And then I show you another cool concept, infinite banking shows you how to accelerate your savings, not investing, just accelerate your savings, preserve money, perpetuate your kingdom. Then we step into 10X where it's like, hey, what if in the next five to seven years, what if we went from 8,000 a month to 80,000 a month? What could that do for your life? What could that do if all I did was add a zero over the next five to seven years? What could that do for your life? What could that you know, reveal about you as a human being, as a person, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a mom, as a dad, as a brother, a sister? What, what, what can that reveal? in your character and your behavior, how you operate if we went from 8,000 to 80,000. So here I am planting that seed now and now we're at that stage where we can take both these concepts, velocity banking, infinite banking, instead of just paying off debt, here's where the shift occurs. We now go from, hey, paying off debt is actually not that smart under the current environment, financial system that we live in. Unfortunately, paying off debt can actually hurt our financial freedom pathway in, in many cases. It can delay our progress. Now that is a opinion. This is not a fact of, of what I'm saying. What I just said, is an opinion, right? I just said paying off debt is not smart. But Denzel, most of your channel is talking about paying off debt. Yes, I know. It's a matter of meeting people where they're at, okay? We've got, we've got good debt and we've got bad debt. Bad debt takes our cash flow, hinders us from financial freedom and financial success. Good debt, creates cash flow, gives us tax write-offs, multiplies, expands our business, opportunities, relationships, networks, puts us in the room, creates relationships that we never thought could be, okay? Catapults us to the next level. Well, but it's, isn't debt the same? Isn't, I've, I've always been told that debt is debt and debt is debt and debt is bad and you know, if you own debt, you're a slave and all this stuff. Well, wait a minute wait a minute, your country that you are a citizen in the U.S. has over $26 trillion in debt. There's an issue there. If your country is in debt, you, my friend, as a U.S. citizen, you are in debt. So even, in, even when you get out of debt, you're still in debt, technically speaking, because every dollar you have came from debt. It came from someone else's debt. All money at this point is debt. Now it's a matter of what debts do I need to get rid of and what debts do I need to accumulate. So in this case, they have a mortgage at 210,000 is the balance. 3.25% is the interest rate. The question becomes, I'm getting charged 3.25% on this mortgage. Can I go earn 
more than 3.25% on my money, can I 10x that return if I took these dollars that I would have thrown at the mortgage, can I throw it at a business? Can I throw it at my purpose in life? Can I obtain a new skill in the marketplace? Get a return on those investment dollars that I'm putting in myself. And now instead of saving interest and saving money, we're making money. We now, we now get to ask the question, do I want to save $10,000 or do I want to make $10,000? Which one is faster? In my opinion, I think it's a hell of a lot easier and faster to make $10,000 than it is to save $10,000. Because here's the issue. Even if I save $10,000 paying off this mortgage via the interest, the money that I threw in to that, its purchasing power has decreased by probably 20% over the last 12 months because they just printed over $6 trillion in the last 12 months. So those same dollars are now worth less. They're worth less, literally. So when I throw my 10 grand into my mortgage, that money is gone. The only way to access it is through what? Debt, equity, right? And if, and if I need it to say pay a bill or refinance or pay an expense, those dollars are worth less when I go to use it. So this becomes a dilemma. This is not so simple anymore. It's not so straightforward. It becomes, okay, is it possible for me to service debt, manage debt, operate this debt over here, start a business over here from scratch, create income, and the, to really measure the success of this is you create a timeline, call it five to seven years. Call it five to seven years. We do the math on debt snowball and velocity banking and infinite banking. We say, okay, in order to pay off 210,000 using any of these three concepts or all of them put together, we'll be debt free in say four years, right? If we just pay off debt, we'll be debt free in four years. Well, in those same four years, what if we 10 x we 10 x our income and at year 3.75, you know I could just write a check, pay off all the debt, pay off the whole entire mortgage. Who went faster? This guy. This option, the 10X option, I went faster, 3.75. Is there risk? Yes, and that is the real decision maker, right? These concepts are safe. Velocity banking, safe, infinite banking, safe. The most safest one is right here, debt snowball. That's probably the safest concept. You're probably not gonna have much financially, but it's safe, it's guaranteed. Velocity banking, does have some inherent risk because you are leveraging debt, other people's money, okay? Infinite banking reduces the risk um, of, of using other people's money. You're now becoming your own banker, so you're using and financing your own dollars. But with this, you lose this, you lose time. With IBC, you can, you can lose time in the beginning years, if you don't have, say, multiple streams of income or the desired amount of money that you want to make. So if I was, if I was making 80K a year, th this is not going to slow me down if I go buy a policy, right? So time, that's not going to slow me down. It's when I'm making 8,000, 6,000, 5,000, 4,000 a month, 3,000 a month, that, that's when infinite banking can slow me down because I haven't yet produced a strategy to multiply money. Most people want to grow their dollars. I want to multiply it. Multiplication is faster than growth. 
Would you rather have a steady 8% rate of return, ROR? Would you rather have that? It's guaranteed. Or would you rather multiply 10x? There's some risk. It's going to take time. But I mean, the, the vast difference, multiply 10x over growth. I have no issue with this right here. I love this, by the way. It's safe. It's guaranteed. Straight to the point. I love that, but I need this to fund that and to fund everything else in my financial structure. I need a money machine. I need a money making machine. Okay? If I create a money making machine for the time that I'm here on planet Earth, and then move those dollars into different assets that continue to compound the money, then anything I add in my finances is just cherry on top. So if I add velocity banking, that's cherry on top. If I add infinite banking, that's cherry on top. So really, 10x over everything, but I understand that it's not always the right timing for people. They're not ready to hear that information. So that's why I just try to meet you where you're at. I, I want this. I need wins. I need early wins, momentum and speed. And I take you through a nice little process. And then this is the end. You get to here. This is a fun place to be because now we're not talking about, oh, you know, how do I make a chunk? And how do I do this? And how do I take my money from here? And da -da -da -da. We're not even talking about that. Now it's about how do I help people? How do I serve 10,000 people instead of 100 people or 10 people? How do I serve a million people? How do I serve a billion people? How do I, how do I you know, execute God's will for my life here on earth? How do I do that? That's way more interesting to me than Denzel, how do I do this chunk here and blah, 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 and da, 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 da. Right? That, that's, that's all the beginning stuff, right? This, that's, this is ground level, beginner, intermediate, moderate stuff. The 10x stuff, that's the big think. That's the thinking big, right? And, you know, giving credit where credit's due. 10x comes from Grant Cardone. So if you don't know who that is, reach out to him. Or, uh, well, you really can't reach out to him at this point. But you go on his YouTube channel, you read his books, you read the book called The 10x Rule, you go to a 10x growth conference, and then you'll get to see what I really mean, okay? Okay.